We have been reacting to a few Swedish folk singer lately, and I found a hidden gem called Sofia Janok. Thank you so much for your suggestion because it's kind of mind blowing. She's unbelievable. You have what you're about to see. She's a Swedish semi singer. And when we reacted to the video, one and doing one fact about Sweden, they talk about the semi people. Mm. So I, that's how I found her. Actually, the semi people like are, are very famous in Norway, Sweden, Finland. Actually, they are. I, I need to see they are, they are the speaker of Norton Semi referred to themselves as Semi. You can see where, where they are located now. There's not a lot of them left. So from what I understand, they are like a, a tribe ethnic group from uh, from North, very North where it's called. In, in French, in Canada, we call that the Amerindiens, the people that live up North. They have history all around uh, Scandinavia and the Nordic country. You can see here, especially in the picture here, you can see especially in the North. And how they live it's very similar to in canada the try that we have very very up north so they have music and one of the most famous one is uh it's uh sophia janok and yog on the in the wind is probably the most the most famous that i found from her the song we're gonna still react to this one here i want to see but she's um it's a unique form the the yoik yoik is a unique form of cultural expression of the sami people in the north of sweden the songs are not merely descriptive, but yearn to capture the subject in its living sense. If it's not about something, it is that something. It does not begin and it does not end, like the wind. Sofia has been performing since she was 11. She en enjoyed blending influence from jazz, pop and yoik, and described her own music as dancing somewhere between the mystic of the northern light and the warmth of the confronting life. Hmm. There's another guy. Um, this was my first introduction, it was this guy. John Henrik Felgren. That was a long time ago though. That was my first introduction to that kind of music, but I have not really listened to it since, so it's gonna be her, her first time since. It's been a long time. By the way, I don't know if you can see her dog. We have 12 dogs. I'm from Canada, so she's from Thailand, but we live in Thailand countryside in the north of Thailand. We have a lot of dogs. We can only react late at night because it's 42 degrees Celsius during the day. And uh, that's the only time we can react. So it's really late. We're tired, but we're doing it. Whoa. This is like music, the nature. Like you go in the middle of the forest and you hear the sound of the animal, the sound of the nature, and you're like, this is like the breeze of the wind, if the wind could speak. That remind yeah. me of that. It's, it's gorgeous. Oh my God, it's so hypnotizing too. Yeah.
She said in the description that it was descriptive. Does that mean, is this considered to be word or sound? Because I know ah. from, in the past I read music from India and there was particular style that it was, it looked like word, but it's sound. Mm. So I'm not sure if it, she, has, she has saying words or it's sound. It's, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, it's very interesting the way that she do the performance. It's very hypnotizing. Mm. Unbelievable. Now I found something more recent that looked very different. I wanted to see that too. Please tell me what the song is about. I don't even want to Google it. I want to let my imagination guessing what the song is about, but this feel like personal and this is like, even if it's different from what she just did, right? The mm. yoke, but it's, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to cry listening to her now. It's, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's, she know what she come on the stage, like unbelievable. Look at people. Wow. It's, uh, it's, it's quite something uh, very unique and. It's loud. You know, I was thinking that the last song, the last song was like the yoke was like almost like a national anthem for them. Like mm. the national anthem of the Sami people. And now it feels like she's mixing like a little bit of the, the tradition of the Sami people and also some modern stuff, like a mix of, of genre. And it's Sally Oh, is that a different song? I think there were, yeah, two songs. Gonna say something weird. Don't take it the wrong way. It remind me of when I listened to the Lion King, and there was a song about the the lion like calling his 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 family, calling mm. his tribe with that. I don't know the the beat, the intention. It's a weird comparison, but I don't know why I have the Lion King in my head. It, I don't know if it's it makes like any that, sense. Actually. But.
my God. Like, you want to feel emotional, but you cannot stop smiling at, at how she do it. Oh, it was during the National Day of Sweden. Oh, that's how Make a like lot of sense now. Yeah, yeah. It was... Oops. Well, you know now we're gonna act to Milsa Orn soon. Oliver is telling the people with the... the you said the medal, right? Is yeah, it really, I kind of look like metal thing. Because she seemed to be in a pretty big city, she, in maybe Stockholm. So she, she's not in the, in the very north of Sweden, right? It doesn't look like this. Or maybe mm. I'm completely ignorant. It feels like she, everything is about the, her, her culture in the crowd and everything. Things. Or is it how you guys dress for the flag day? The national day that you all dress in a traditional way? I, I don't know enough. So maybe we need to react to a video about that. The National Day of Sweden. Emotional at the same time too. Yeah, that was oh, like so powerful. Yeah, that was a trip into culture. Even without the lyrics, I felt like it was a damn. She really transcends the screen. Now you're glued to the screen when she performs. She's quite a. She's an hypnotizing uh, performer. I think this is gonna go straight in my title. Uh, Sofia Janok or this semi singer hypnotizing us. Hypnotized us. It's gonna go in the title, <laughs> and my thumbnail is gonna have a narrow with us like. A, Kind of hypnotized. That was quite amazing. Well, thank you so much for the amazing suggestion. And please suggest us more from some people. Maybe a video explaining their culture and more folk music, more song like this. This is uh, what music is about, huh? About learning too, not just the sound, but also the learning experience, the culture. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for watching. Amazing. Click here. I will put something else. And uh, see you very soon. Bye bye.